the one commodity that is most valuable on this earth is time. Time to love, time to live. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. I can live with no responsibility whatsoever. The price I pay is that nothing matters. Or I can reverse it and everything matters. But I have to take the responsibility that's associated with that. And so if your life isn't everything it could be, you could ask yourself, well, what would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? What is death? Is it the end? Or is it the beginning? And what is life? What is this thing we call life? What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. You are living and achieving your dreams. Find time to better yourself, read, explore, research, live life. Do things you've never thought of doing before. That's what it's all about. It might not be fun, it might not be easy, but it is profitable. It does give you results. Think about all of the great people that we admire in our society and the things that they must have had to go through in order to make it look effortless. And one day you're gonna be great, but you think you got time. You think you got time, 18, three years from now, five years from now. I'm telling you, you deserve to be great now. And not only do you deserve to be great, there's some people in your life. You must be yourself if you want to experience your true purpose in life. If you're different, be different. Be different and do it with pride. If someone doesn't like it, if many people don't like it, who cares? Your life would feel better and richer if you had a goal. You chase that goal, you accomplish some things, and you would get this boost of confidence, you'd get this boost of self-esteem, like whatever it is that you're gonna do. Learn from what you've just done, move forward. Learn from what you've just done, move forward. Repeat, 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 all the way forward until one day you're gonna get to the end of that tunnel and you're gonna see the light. You need to take massive action. And if that doesn't work, try something else. If that doesn't work, try something else. Keep going with massive action and you will find the way because it will give you momentum. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. Listen to me, if you work for it, if you're willing to put in that sweat, that blood and those tears, baby, I'm telling you, you can have what you want, be what you want, do what you want, are you hearing me? And start now. Start believing, start dreaming, and create the life and the person that you really want to see. I think it's good to remember that if we just go along with the crowd, we won't wind up with much more than the wish that we could do it all over again, and as far as we know, you can't. If we want to amount to anything as individuals, we need individual goals, individual thinking, individual actions, and we must never conform to the big group. We must love them, we must help them, we must serve them because our whole success will depend on our ability to do these things. But never lose our own individuality and our identity by permitting ourselves to become submerged in what has historically proved itself to be little more than a suffocating sea of indirection and purposelessness. If we want to emulate someone, fine, but let's be choosy in whose steps we follow. It's the only life we've got. And remember to think. Imagination is everything, and we can become what we can imagine. If you find yourself getting depressed and down at the mouth, as we all get once in a while, you might want to remember this quotation by Dean Briggs. He said, do your work. Not just your work and no more, but a little more for the lavishing's sake. That little more which is worth all the rest. And if you suffer as you must, and if you doubt as you must, do your work. Put your heart into it, and the sky will clear. And then out of your very doubt and suffering will be born the supreme joy of life. Believe it or not, in an age when we've come to nearly deify leisure time, we've almost lost sight of the fact that virtually all our satisfactions, rewards will come not from our leisure, but from our work. And don't forget the strangest secret. We become what we think about. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, 
If you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy. When you want to change, it's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. So yes, I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. The way to transform yourself is through your work. Now I know this runs counter to our prevailing cultural prejudices. Work is too ugly, too boring, too vain. Self-transformation, we think, comes through a spiritual journey. Therapy, a guru who tells us what to do, intense group experiences and social experiences and drugs. <laughs> but most of these are ways of running away from ourselves and relieving our chronic boredom. They're not connected to process, and so any changes that occur don't last. Instead, through our work, we can actually connect to who we are instead of running away. And by entering that slow, organic process, we can actually change ourselves from the inside out in a way that's very real and very lasting. This process involves a journey of self-discovery that can be seen as quite spiritual, if you like. And at the end of this process, we contribute something unique and meaningful to our culture through our work, which is hardly ugly, boring, or vain. This intense focus on one goal is not easy, but it is all important. Orison Svetmarden wrote, the giants of the race have been men and women of concentration who have struck sledgehammer blows in one place until they have accomplished their purpose. The successful men and women of today are those of one over, mastering idea, one unwavering aim, men and women of single and intense purpose. Marden also said that every great man has become great. Every successful man has succeeded in proportion as he has confined his powers to one particular channel. Single-minded concentration in the direction of your dreams will intensify your desires and increase your emotional drive toward your goal. This intensity of concentration will activate the law of attraction and begin to attract people and opportunities into your life to help you to achieve your goal. The more you think about your goal, the more it will come to dominate and direct your life. The more you think about it, the more rapidly you will move toward it, and it will move toward you. Great men and women are those who absolutely believe that they are put on this earth to do something wonderful with their lives. They have a vision of something greater or better than their current circumstances. Personal greatness means having a sense of destiny and a conviction that your thoughts and your imagination are the only real limits to your possibilities. William James said, compared to what we ought to be, we are only half awake. We are making use of only a small part of our physical and mental resources. Stating the thing broadly, the human individual thus lives far within his limits. He possesses powers of various sorts which he habitually failed to use. The founder of Success Magazine, Orison Sweat Marden, once said there are powers inside of you which, if you could discover and use, would make of you everything you ever dreamed or imagined you could become. In a five-year study of leaders reported on in his book, leaders, Warren Bennis discovered that each of them consciously avoided the comfort zone by continuously setting higher goals. They never allowed themselves to become complacent. They lived their lives fully extended, always striving to be and do more. To develop unshakable self-confidence, you need to see yourself and think of yourself as a leader and to do what leaders do. You need to stretch yourself toward the outermost boundaries of your potential. 
You need to set goals that draw out of you the very best that is in you. You need to work toward objectives that cause you to feel a sense of mastery and peak performance. 